today we are going to be creating a tower falling dynamic simulation inside of Maya and we are going to be using a simple drizzle boy dynamics and some constraint so let's see how we can build this I'm going to take a simple plane to start off with this will be our overall floor and let's scale this up and let's turn off the grid so the polygon uh, right now is too much so I'm going to make this one by one we don't need that many segments and this will be our floor so let's create some cubes here and I'm going to scale this up. Let's bring this up and let's scale this down. Okay, so this looks pretty good to me and I'm going to add some bevel to this just so we can have a bit more good geometry to deal with and let's create a fraction of about three and let's add some segments here. So this looks good. Alright, so this is what we have and let's just make sure this is lying right about there okay so I'm gonna go into my top view hit 4 on your keyboard to enter into wireframe mode and I'm gonna hit click on my X sorry press my X button and I'm gonna make sure it's centered toward the grid here and I'm gonna control D this to duplicate this and move another one right about there Okay, so this is what we have. Let's hit Ctrl D and move this up and go to your front view. Hit 4, rotate this, make sure this is 90 degrees and let's move this in the center of the grid. By simply hitting X on your keyboard, you can uh, snap it on your grid on the overall viewport here. And I'm going to make sure it's not perfectly aligned, but yeah, somewhere around there. Once we add some gravity, it will be fixed. And I'm going to hit X and align it right about there. I'm going to control D this and right about there. So this is what we have and I'm going to duplicate this a couple of times. So yeah, and if you hold down shift D, it will continuously duplicate this. Keep going and going and going in a way. So I'm going to delete the top one here. Okay, so this is what we have right now. Uh, looks good. So uh, I'm going to increase my plane here and let's take a simple sphere. I'm going to bring my sphere right about there and let's scale this up. And I'm going to extrude this, not extrude, extend even more. So this is what we have. I'm going to increase some divisions in here as well. And I'm going to select this. And uh, the first thing that we have to do is basically add a constraint to this, which will be our simple nail constraint. And the next thing is adding a passive collider and active rigid bodies to this. So let's go to the FX menu here and fields and solver. So I'm going to select my floor here and let's call this passive collider. Select the cubes here and let's create active rigid body. And with the sphere selected, you can simply select a nail or a hinge constraint, whatever works. So let's go with the hinge constraint. I'm going to pull my hinge over on top and this is what we have. So I'm going to rotate this to about minus 90 degrees and let's select our hinge here and put it right about there so and nothing will happen because we have no gravity if I play this you can see we don't see any animation or anything so I'm gonna select these geometry here you can simply go to outliner and select these if it's hard to select from the viewport and select gravity so let's close this here and I'm gonna hit play here so the simulation will be a bit slower since uh, this is what we have and one more thing uh, you'll notice that the overall plane is kind of intersecting with the overall geometry and the reason is because we have kind of changed the overall shape of this and we have to reset the whole thing so one thing I'm going to do is go back again I'm going to select this I'm going to delete the overall history here delete by type rigid bodies and I'm just going to freeze transform and get rid of the overall history and center pivot this as well. So now I'm going to create passive collider as well. Now the simulation will be a bit slow because we have a lot of geometry in our scene. Uh, so yeah. Okay. So one thing you'll notice is it's not hitting as hard as we expected. And it is kind of hitting. You can see the overall polygons moving here. And uh, the reason it's not hitting that hard even though we have a lot of gravity going on and a lot of inertia from the overall sphere here. Uh, but the one thing you'll notice if I click on any object here you'll notice that the mass it has is a mass of one and if I select my sphere it has the same mass 
so that's why it's not like hitting that much harder because it has same amount of mass as the overall cubes has so i can increase the mass to a bit more like a 50 mass here and i can decrease the mass of these cubes as well but i don't think we have to do that so i'm gonna make this 300 just so we have enough space to play around this let's hit play okay so now as you can see we have much better result with the overall since we have added more mass to this now we get this kind of look where everything falls so this is a pretty interesting thing that you can utilize the overall constraints or the overall power of your rigid body dynamics to create these amazing kind, kind of types of overall design here so there are a couple of uh, other ways that you can do this you can use a nail constraint as well if you want a couple of only cubes overall falling you can use a barrier constraint to kind of restrict them towards that so you can use that as well so i'm going to move my hinge constraint here i'm going to select this a bit more and i'm going to play this again all right so this is what you have now from here you can get into the overall lighting and shading and and so on so you can shade this you can create pretty amazing dynamic stuff and if you have a bit of problem regarding the overall simulation just keep changing the overall mass and bounciness right now as you can see the overall bounciness on these cubes are a bit too much so what you can do is you can simply change the overall bounciness from here from the rigid body and you can get rid of the overall let me just select the cubes here i'm going to select cubes okay so from here what you can do is you can change the bounciness to maybe like a 0.2 and uh, you can increase the static and dynamic friction just so it slows uh, down a little bit early and since we have more friction this will kind of slide less towards the overall floor here and since we have less amount of bounce i'm going to make the bounciness 2.1 just so it doesn't bounce around the whole space Okay, so now as you can see we have much better result it's not kind of bouncing off and it's not looking too bad like it's a kind of a simple small object so you can hit three on your keyboard uh, to kind of make them smoother and this will just look much better now so you can create this type of kind of cool effect with the overall little body, body dynamics to create these simulations here so have fun with this create something out of it uh, that's it for this one and i'll see you in the next video